Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim My dear friends, agriculturists from all over country, yesterday I received a telephone call from one Pakistani who is having land in Okara district but he belongs to Hujra Shah Mukim. He prefers to talk in English and uh, his questions were about the cropping patterns of his area. He viewed a program, my program, four crops a year I gave different options and mostly those were covering vegetables. So the fellow named uh, Sayyid, Sayyid Abbas, Sayyid Abbas uh, from Hujra Shah Muqim, but having lands in Okara district. Beautiful lands, irrigated area and very potential area for crop production. As everybody knows that Punjab is contributing a lot in production of different crops and vegetables and over 70% of the top, total crop area of the country is in this province. And uh, the area in which Mr. Abbas is interested, the cropping pattern in that area, especially the irrigated areas are cotton, wheat, cotton followed by wheat and then cotton. This is one option, one cropping pattern. The second is cotton, fallow, then cotton. They keep fallow and then cotton. This is second option. The third pattern, cotton followed by sunflower and then cotton. This is a third option. Then cotton, wheat and fallow. Similarly, cotton, wheat, then mung beans, this is pulses, mung bean and then mustard. Mung bean or mustard. Then there is another pattern, cotton, wheat, uh, monk, mustard, which I have already told you. Then there is a sorghum, sorghum or guar. The, uh, this is a fodder, fodder crop. Then mustard, followed by cotton and then wheat. So oh, this is another copying pattern. Then there is another Barsim or Lucent, Alpha Alpha. This is another, uh, we call it, uh, uh, this is a fodder crop, Lucent, Barsim, Lucent or Barsim. Then f followed by cotton and then wheat. This is another pattern. Similarly, wheat, cotton, and again wheat. So, after this, there is another pattern, wheat, maize, and then sugarcane. This is another pattern. Then potato, potato followed by maize, maize, 
or fodder. I maize, yani maize as a fodder. Then potato, potato, maize, potato. Then potato. Any other, they can also uh, have a, a different uh, set of uh, set of uh, fodder, but uh, mostly potato, maize fodder, and potato. Then summer vegetables, but uh, say the Abbas is not interested in that. But it is summer vegetables, then winter vegetables and which are near the market towns, they uh, follow this pattern. Then Khree fodders, or we call it summer fodders, followed by Barsim. The Barsim is uh, winter. And then vegetables, wheat, vegetables or wheat or oil seeds including brassica, canola, whatever you call. So these are different cropping patterns of irrigated areas in which Okara and uh, southern Punjab's uh, Hujra Shah Mukim is located. So these are different cropping patterns. If we calculate them, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 cropping patterns I have given you. I think you might have got the reply of your telephone call yesterday's conversation in the evening especially when I was really very much upset and gloomy over aeroplane crash near Islamabad. So let me narrate some quotings, some quotations from our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him. The title is Healthful Smiling. Smile decently when you greet people. That is yet another good thing a Muslim has been advised to do so. Abu Huraira ta'ala anhu narrates that the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Give currency to salutation amongst yourself. And uh, it's uh, from Muslim. And uh, there is another uh, sayings of our Holy Prophet, which is agreed upon. Abdullah bin Amr reported that a man asked the messenger of God, peace be upon him, what is the best in Islam? He said, you are feeding the poor and offering salutation to whom you know and whom you do not know. So, I, with this, I end this a small program especially recorded for our brother Sayyid Abbas from Okara but native of Hujrasha Mokim Femala